it's like an aha moment. It may be moving a fixture a half an inch in terms of aiming, but I see it and a little smile just comes across my face. I worked on this project called Walnut Creek Manor in Walnut Creek, California. And we lit all the pathways so they could see how beautiful their home was. Eventually I realized that, that not everybody knew everything that I knew. So then I started writing the landscape lighting book. And what happened was that I started getting calls before the book even came out. I had become known worldwide. There was this little voice in the back of my head. The little voice kept saying, you have worked so hard, you've gained all this knowledge, you should share it. I like every scene in a garden to feel complete, allowing your eye to move from one area to another and almost feel like you've been told a story. Our society understands how important landscape lighting is. Oh, there's a thing that looks they're small, so you want to cut a piece. Walking the site helps us get a sense of how the space feels and the relationship of elements to one another. And I start visualizing what could be done in my mind. You've got to communicate what, what you actually design to the installers who are not in your brain and they never will be. We need light to, to scare away the darkness. We've made this big leap from old technology to LED. Change is going to happen. We have to accept LED. We have to let go of our old technologies. LED brings things to landscape lighting that we've never had. What is it going to need today, and what will it need five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, so that when your client calls and says, you know, this tree just doesn't look like it used to, you can fix it. Hi, I'm Janet Lennox-Moyer. I'm a lighting designer specializing in landscape lighting for 43 years. 